everybody. Hi. Hope you've all had a good day. I've got two lovely stories for you today. The first one is called Whatever Next. I absolutely love this story. And the second one is a favourite. Room on the Broom. Hopefully you know this story really well and you can join in. And some of you might have even found these books at home to read along with me, which would be good. So, are we ready for our first story? Are you ready, Edward Bear? Good. Our first story is Whatever Next. Oh, good. Can I go to the moon? asked Baby Bear. No, you can't, said Mrs. Bear. It's bath time. Anyway, you should have to find a rocket first. <laughs> Baby Bear found a rocket it's in the cupboard underneath the stairs. Do you think you can find a rocket in the cupboard under the stairs? He found a space helmet on the draining board in the kitchen and a pair of space boots on the mat by the front door. <laughs> what is his helmet? That's right, it's a colander. And are his boots space boots? He packed his teddy and some food for the journey and took off up the chimney. Do you like to go to the moon or up into space? An owl flew past. That's a smart rocket, he said. Where are you off to? The moon, said Baby Bear. Would you like to come too? Oh yes please, said the owl. An aeroplane roared out of the clouds. Baby Bear waved, and some of the passengers waved back. Mm. On and on they flew, up and up above the clouds, past the millions of stars, till at last they landed on the moon. said Baby Bear. There are no trees, said the owl. Well, it's a bit boring, said Baby Bear. Shall we have a picnic? What a good idea, said the owl. Mm, what's he got in his picnic? Oh, lots of delicious things. Would you like a picnic on the moon? What would you take with you? We'd better go, said Baby Bear. My bath must be ready by now. Off they went, down and down and down. The owl got out and flew away. Goodbye, he said. It was so nice to meet you. And off the owl goes. It rained and the rain dripped through Baby Bear's helmet. Oh no, poor baby bear. Maybe his journey isn't quite so fun now. Home went baby bear, back down the chimney and onto the living room carpet with a bump. <laughs> oh dear. Look, he's fallen out of his rocket onto the floor. Mrs. Bear came into the room. Look at the state of you, she gasped. And she led him away to the bathroom. Boy, you look as if you've been up the chimney. <laughs> but has he been up the chimney? That's the question. As a matter of fact, said Baby Bear, I have been up the chimney. I found a rocket and went to visit the moon. 
Mrs. Bear, Mrs. Bear laughed. You and your stories, she said. Whatever next. Now, do you think that Baby Bear did go to the moon? For real? What do you think? Mm. Now, our next story, I think you know really well. I love this story. It's called Room on the Broom. And I want you to join in this one, okay? The witch had a cat with a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their boomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Oh no! And a witch needs her hat, doesn't she? Down! cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. And out of the bushes, on the thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely and eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on a broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. There she is, look. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Oh no, so first she lost her hat and now she's lost her bow. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground and they searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from the tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied the plait in her bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh! They were gone. I hope you're joining in all the whooshers. Good. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. She's very clumsy, that witch, isn't she? Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, as the witch dried her wand on the fold of her cloak. I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on a broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moon and the stars, oh, over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... What do you think is going to happen now? The broom snapped in two! Oh my goodness! The witch's whole broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, 
cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help! cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and, licking his lips, said, Maybe this once I'll have a witch without chips. Oh no, poor witch. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads and wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! And you see the terrible monster. Who do you think it is? The dragon drew back and he started to show. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and he was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog and down climbed the cat and phew! said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you I'd be in that dragon's inside. Thank goodness for her new friends. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone, throw something in. So the dog found a lily and the cat found a comb and the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, the witch stirred them well, and while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, zaggity, ziggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom, with seats for the witch, and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch. And they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! They were gone. I do love that story. It's so much fun. I hope you joined in all the whooshes. Now, sleep well tonight and I'll see you for another story tomorrow. Bye everybody.